Hello and welcome. This is Lane Lovestone here, and today we will be unboxing, untacking, and then retacking up the 2018 Briar Christmas horse. This horse has been named Celestine. It's on a newer mold here. I thought I'd do this video because there is some question about whether or not we could untack these Christmas horses. Um, so figured that this would be a, a road to discovery. I bought this horse for the model itself. I don't generally collect the Christmas horses. So this is my first Christmas horse. And I thought I'd grab it because I really liked this mold. I thought it would be great to tack up. And I mean the costume is really nice in itself as well. Um, this one in particular looks uh, quite costumey, I guess. Like the, a couple of the other ones looked a little bit more decorative. So I thought I'd give this one a try. And we'll see how she is here. Now opening up. My first impression of this horse was that I, I liked the pose. It was a really cool pose. I believe it's supposed to be a Lipizzaner horse. Now this horse came out on the Premier Club. It had a foal with it as well. But this one is just the horse. So this is the first regular run of this mold. I think this would be a great dressage horse. So I thought I'd pick it up for it to make tack on. And we'll open up the back here. Now these can be a little bit sharp here, so make sure that you're safely undoing these briar horses. Sometimes I'll use uh, even a wire cutter just to cut through them. Uh, sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to pull out, especially as they're wrapped around the horse's legs. There's Andy Kitten, you've seen her in other videos, she's uh, quite interested in the feathers on the top of this horse, on the costume. <laughs> and she likes to make an appearance in videos too. So here we are. I've got all the back uh, wires undone. And now I'm just carefully pulling them through the cardboard and the plastic. Hey, there's Andy looking at the feathers. So my first impression of this costume is that it seems to be quite well made. It's uh, quite sturdy in its construction, which I like. It can be a little bit tricky pulling these wires out through the backs there. Uh, I'll slowly free it from its grasp here. Okay, so now she's free. So we can take a quick closer look at this costume now. The roses on the, the saddle portion of the costume are like a molded, it's like almost like a plastic uh, mold there. So they're like a hard uh, flower. The beads are all quite nice. I really like the feathers on the headpiece as well. It's quite, quite nice. There's a, a lot of really nice lace work in the um, costume itself as well. You can see 
uh, along the sides. Like there's like kind of like this lace trim that's quite nice on it. I'm closer up to the head here, so you can see this beadwork along the the top. And this is the part where people are unsure: can I take this beadwork off this horse and put it back, looking exactly the same as before? <laughs> Here's the tail piece. See if I can focus on it a little better here. Doesn't seem to want to focus for me. But it's quite nice overall. Uh, the, the costume design itself is quite nice. It looks nice from all angles. Overall, a very pretty Christmas horse. It's probably one of my favorites I've seen in the last few years. The mold itself is quite nice and the horse is painted like kind of like a shimmery uh, gray color. It's almost like pearl. So the way that they package them to come to you, they have um, some plastic wrapped around the barrel of the horse. I think this is to prevent uh, any staining of the costume. I've heard in the past that the costumes have stained the horses. So when they're in the box, there is a protective covering. Now this is Velcro. So this just Velcro Velcros to the end of the the tail here. As you can see the the uh, ribbon on the tail is just sort of wound around and then velcroed to that tail piece. So that was quite easy to remove. And it should be fairly easy to put back on as well. So that ribbon on the tail piece is just it looks like it's just wrapped around twice. And it's just velcroed to that tail piece there. So that was quite easy to remove. It looks quite easy to put back on. So we'll take that tail piece right off. And just kind of threaded through one another. So it looks a little bit more complicated than it was. Okay, so that's taken off now. So you can see a little closer up. It's just a piece of ribbon wrapped around the tail with a, a decorative piece on the end. And it's Velcro. So this holds out hope that there's more Velcro on this costume here. So I'm going to take a look at it and just see where there is more Velcro. Those reins look like they're tied on to the costume. So I'm not going to touch that for now. I'm just looking for any Velcro on this costume. And yeah, there we got, uh, so the girth is done up with Velcro. I can undo the girth. And then this piece, yeah, it's Velcro on that, the offside there. So undo that offside Velcro. And then I'm looking for the other side undoing, and yeah. So that's also Velcro right there. So all the Velcro um, places where you unattach are all on the off side of the model. And every, there's like three points of Velcro. So now, like I said, these reins are attached here. So I'm just trying to figure out What's the best way I can take off this headpiece without wrecking the costume? So I'm just taking a look here. Uh, what parts are attached, what parts aren't. Just looking at the overall construction. And it looks like the rain, so there's like a bit of like 
uh, from the the long piece along the head part is tied on. So that's the only part that's actually tied on to this costume. So there's all these little, um, just for the um, transport of this horse and like in the package, there's a bunch of different um, clear elastics on the, the model. So they're keeping the costume in place. Um, those you can remove just very carefully. Um, there's one along the body of the model and then there's a couple on the... Uh, neck so I'm just So there's the main bead piece that I just pulled off so I can pull off the clear elastic bands So I'm just carefully pulling those elastic bands over the head over the feather piece and then there's another elastic band here So just carefully lifting it up and over the feathers not the feathers on the feet, the feathers on the head. <laughs> um, okay, so after I get the elastics off, this is fairly simple construction. I believe I can just kind of lift it up and over the head. There's little um, like uh, pieces for the ears to go in right beside the feather. So little uh, like straps that go around the ear. So I'm just slowly pull those off and then the whole piece comes together. So that's that's one piece. The head piece, bridle, like the feather piece is all attached to the main saddle piece of this costume. So as you can see, it looks fairly easy, fairly simple to put back on. There weren't many attachments like some, some uh, clear elastic bands, but other than that, it was very easy to remove. Now, here's this horse that I've been <laughs> waiting for. Now, it's quite a cool little mold. I do enjoy this pose. It looks really nice. Um, here's the plastic piece that the, is protecting the mold from the, the saddle cloth itself. So, like I said, they do have a protective plastic bit over the barrel of the horse so that you don't have to worry about that costume staining the horse. That model is going to stay nice and mint because it's not rubbing it's and it's got lots of protection on it. So here you are. Here's the mold. I really like the, the face and the expression on this horse. I think that's one of the things that, that really drew me to this mold wanting to have it and then it's in a cool pose you know it's like a, it's a, it looks like a passage probably so it'll be good for dressage entries and it's a really cool color I like the pearl here you can see his feet I'm a, I trim feet, so I'm always looking at horse feet. Um, <laughs> so yeah, here we are, this awesome mold. And then we can see, so now we're going to try to tack it back up. See how easy, how difficult that would be. So our main thing first would be to make sure that uh, we're just getting everything, every, all the head through. So I had re-velcroed um, the front piece so I can just slip it over the head and then the rest goes with it. So this is me putting on those little loops that go around the ear. And I'm just trying to set it up nicely just the way it was before. Now this didn't take very long to do. Um, it was fairly simple to put back on. And now just straightening out the rest of the costume and then replacing the Velcro on the back piece. Now 
so overall this set like put it went back on like super easily um, I would not hesitate to remove this costume even if you want to put the costume back on it's not a problem I might even take the costume off and then store it nicely so that way none of the feathers get uh, wrecked or anything like that I got a kitty that likes the feathers so <laughs> And then put that one piece back over. So that piece, uh, it was initially um, tied on to the saddle cloth, but I just set it there, it set nice. And then last little piece will be the tail piece. So that just wrapped around twice. Um, when I put it on here, I just wrapped it once just to kind of do, do it really quickly. But yeah, it was very, very easy to put back on, take off. Uh, I would definitely, if you would want to use the model, don't be afraid to take the costume off. It was very easy to put back on and looked basically how it looked out of box. So it's a very versatile costume. Briar did, uh, did a really good job thinking um, uh, how to remove the costume, put it back on. So no issues there. Definitely grab this Christmas horse if you like the model. Even if you don't like the costume because it's very easy to remove. Very easy to put on. I, it might even do well in a costume contest. It's actually quite a, quite a nice costume. It's got like the inside of it is all finished and all that. So so yeah, overall I'm very impressed with this Christmas horse. Um, if they come out with another one like this, I, I might uh, buy it again. So thanks so much for watching everyone. This is Lane Lovestone with Yellow Bird Acres Tack. Keep watching for more videos and tutorials and like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great one, guys.